Okay, we're here tonight for the Festival Commission meeting. This is Wednesday, May 11, 2011. And I need to call to order. Why am I forgetting what I'm doing here? Yes, we need a Pledge of Allegiance. Bill, please. Thank you. Thank you. Way to go, Bill. Okay, we have, we need to determine the quorum, so do I need a motion to determine the quorum? I move. I move. Maggie moves. Is there a second? I second. Chad seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. None. I forgot all my notes. Now, approval of the agenda. Uh, real quick, I just added, we have Bob Bo here from Police Department. Where did Russ go? Oh, Russ Denico from Gorno, and we have Mr. Dane Zula in the audience for, um, uh, he's applied to be a commissioner with our group. And Derek is here. I guess i got to tell Derek Thiel is here if he wants You're to Dan. come up and talk. That's the only thing I need to add. So do we have a motion to approve the agenda? I approve. Chad approves. Is there a second? Aye. Uta, was that you? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Okay, so we have our guest. Oh, approval of the previous minutes. Oh, okay. Next. Sorry. I don't like all this I still move. stuff. Maggie <laughs> moves the approval of the previous meeting which was held April 13th. Julie seconds. Julie seconds. All aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ne none. <laughs> okay, see we always go through that really fast. Okay, guess. Uh, Russ and, and Bob, do you need to go first? No, I'm, I'm here to observe the meeting. So. Okay, you're here to observe. Okay. Oh, and look at Ted's in the back. Hey, Ted. Hi, Ted. So, <laughs> Real quick, uh, some of you met Mr. Dave Zula, who's in the audience. We had a vacancy. Yes. Hello? Why, can you hear me? There you go. There is another vacancy here for our little, our little commission. And Mr. Zula, who I'm very good friends with, him and his wife, um, applied. We have no other applicants that I am aware of. So I would like to recommend him to the commission. Some of you have met him earlier tonight. Is there any questions? Or, Could Tim, are we? Sure. Put him on the spot. <laughs> Can you stand up to this commission? <laughs> Hi, Dave. Uh, Hi, Dave. All right. State your name and where you live. <laughs> I'm Dave Zula. I live on Brazil. I've lived here for almost 14 years. Um, he and his wife have already volunteered to sell wristbands on Friday evening. I volunteered last year at the Yes, he did. Island Trust. So, <coughs> and he, um, he did is... Amy, did Amy put you up to this, or...? No, I volunteered freely. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put a shotgun to his face, I know. No, that. I think he'd be great. He's a fun guy, and his, his wife's fun, and, and it would be what would you What would you like to bring to the Island Fest, or oh, if you see yeah. us doing something? Or, well, well, I want to hear what he's got to say. Well, I want him to sell himself to me. I've always, oh, that's good enough. <laughs> I've always wanted to be on a commission, and this one's less confrontational than really? the ones I've seen. We're the fun, we're the fun commission. We're the fun one, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, I know we... You know, we had Julie. We had Julie fill in a spot, which we all agreed she was. She yeah, is a great yeah. asset. Yeah. I just forget what oh, the procedure yeah. is now, Tim, for us to vote Dave in. Do we have to yeah, do this right now? Do we do it? We have an application. Yeah, he did the application. So do we um, just vote on it? Yeah, you vote on him and recommend it to the township. And then they have to approve it. Is that how we do that? <coughs> so I have to make a motion to recommend Mr. Dave Zula as. Request a motion. I request a motion to recommend Dave Zula to the Island Fest Commission. So moved. Bill moves. Is there a second? Second. Uta seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? You're in. You're in. Yay. <laughs> so what do you have to say now? So what, what happens now is that we will take this recommendation to the Township Board, and at the next Township Board meeting, um, it'll be an action item, and then the Township Board will... Um, most likely make a motion that based on the recommendation of the festival commission to approve your plan. Okay. And so then the hazing. And the hazing will occur. <laughs> so anyway, Dave, um, 
So you're, you know. But that doesn't prevent you from training. helping and taking part with us already from this moment forward. Yes, yeah, you're, you're in now, so we're going to call on you. Okay. So did, when is the next township board meeting? Monday? Two weeks. Two weeks. But we take any volunteers, so I mean, you just go yeah. ahead. We're, you know, that week in the Violent Fest, I will make sure there's something for you to do. I'll be available. Okay. Yeah, there, there's no interference with Memorial Day for the next meeting, <coughs> I don't think. No. We're, we're going to decide on that one, too. Yeah, but yeah. we're good. We're good. So we're good. That. So you're welcome to stay. So okay. you can stay. So next time you'll be so? out here. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Great. All right. Now I can talk to Russ. Okay. Want to go ahead, Russ? Yep. Basically, we're going to be all set to go for the car show. Uh, I just talked to uh, Bob Bo a couple minutes ago, and we're discussing the fact about on Friday night when we do the car cruise. We've been doing a car cruise on Friday night, leaving the airport about 7 o'clock. Uh, and our normal route's been just going down uh, Meridian and then up to Gray's Drive and then up Macomb Street. Uh, this year we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to uh, we're going to take Grow Road, go down to East River, take that up to Manchester, go down Manchester, uh, back to Meridian, and then uh, down to uh, Gray's and then Macomb. And uh, I think what we need to do, we got to get the newspaper or uh, whatever to you know give us some assistance to let people know that this is happening. So I think we need to get a hold of uh, uh, your camera, and I'm going to call, make a couple calls over to the uh, Heritage Paper and see if I can get something in motion on that. I'm also going to get, see if I can get them to come out, and we're going to do uh, maybe photos of a couple of cars that are going to be like in the car show and in the parade. Um, we're all set as far as the trophies. I reordered all the uh, reordered trophies again. We're basically doing a repeat of what we did last year. Uh, they're coming in from uh, Crown Trophy Supply. Uh, Gorno Ford is paying the entire cost of the uh, other trophies. We're sponsoring that again as we've done in the past. So as far as the car show itself, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, Tim, now you did. Tim, you did talk to uh, uh, Davy G. Davy G's all set. Yes. Our, okay, so we're basically good for the DJ. Uh, we're going to probably need a little bit of help, but. Uh, maybe a few volunteers, but I think we're pretty much going to be in shape for the car show and just basically do exactly what I've done for the last, I think this is what, the fourth or fifth year that I've done it. So we're basically going to do a repeat on it. Uh, I'm also going to invite the Thunderbird uh, uh, Go-Kart Club. Uh, perhaps we can uh, investigate as far as getting them involved, as the Michigan Kart Club did, uh, previously get them involved with the... Uh, Island Fest activities. Do you, um, do you think um, they would want to be in the parade this year? I mean, I, I know we can't know, add I, them to the events, but... Right. I'm going to you know, do, I'm going to make a phone call tomorrow. Uh, this is kind of like a last minute thing, but I figured it would be a it would be a definite asset to the, uh, you know, to our uh, festival and to what we're doing. So I think that that would be a good idea, Amy. I'm going to Make a couple of calls on that and see if I can put that in, you know. Because I'm sure there's room in the parade, right, Tim? Yeah. For yes. a few little go karts? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I if they want to do that, that'd be right. great. I'll work on that, and I'm working on a couple other things too, which uh, I've got a couple other things that are going to be po more positive things too for us, but I won't know exactly on that for probably about another week or so because I've got to get commit. It's the old story get commitments from people. So. But everything should go as planned. Everything should go smooth. And as far as the advertisement, you're going to call the yeah, papers I'm gonna yourself. Yeah, I'm going to get all the paper. I've got, well, I've got some contacts over there, so I'm going to, okay. you know, uh, use the people that I know and see if we can get some uh, some publicity going on that. So we should be should be good to go. Any questions, anybody? I know Russ does a good job every year, and we don't really have to worry about that, which is really nice. So yes, it's always does a nice job. We'll Russ, just, we'll you just take care of everything. Do what we've done in the past. Okay. You know, so it's if it's not broke, don't fix it. We're just going to improve it a little bit. Okay. So great. that's basically that's all I got to get. That's all I have to do is get really get with uh, uh, with Bob Bowen, and get old, get with Joe, and put our put our thought process together on the uh, as far as doing our our cruise. Uh, and that road close, I mean, as far as a grow road thing, that probably won't happen then, correct? Probably not this year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Bob, can, can we ask you, because anyone watching this on tape later on will not be able to hear you. Yeah. You're talking about, oh, the possibility of closing that Grow Road. Closing Grow Road yeah. during the festival, especially yeah. the night of the fire, which we have so many pedestrians walking across that area. Yeah. We're going to check with the county and see if we can get something done for this year. If not this year, maybe we can set something up for next year. Okay. Um, and it may, I, I don't know if the, if the uh, infrastructure in the airport on the north end would be able to handle the traffic heading through there or not. We'd have to check into that too. That might be a consideration. Yeah. Okay. But Bob, you know what? Um, just in thinking, um, being able to tell the county that that you you have complaints from the um, police reserves that during certain times the the pedestrians don't heed the crosswalk at all. That um, that might give the county a, a a different angle to to look at it from. I yeah, don't I don't know that we've ever approached them with with that kind of, let's say, evidence that yeah, you know, we, we can do definitely happen. mention that to them. We'll definitely give them that information and let them know yeah. that that's occurring and it's a problem and there are concerns for the people's safety. Yeah, I mean, they know you have a crosswalk and so, you know, they think, well, that, that should be adequate, but if we can say, as you now have proof that people don't really mind that at certain times during the, during the festival, then that might be And then you would have people come in from Meridian back I don't even know the names of the roads back there. I'm sorry. Oh, but there's a soccer festival going on. Yeah, that's, well, that's, oh, that's, that's you know, yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that, too, because Geese is putting on the soccer tournament the whole too, weekend. There. they got 60 okay. teams coming in. But that's I don't know if they'll be there the Friday. They're not going to be, well, they won't be there on Saturday and Sunday. Isn't that true? Is it Friday? I don't Saturday know. We would Friday? have to call um, Mr. Snyder. Tom. There's actually two roads coming off of Meridian, too. Right. I mean, I think it would be able to handle the phone. It's not that much of a difference. And, and the Islanders that know kind of the back way would be able to come in from West River. Mm -hmm. you know, That's true. Far end. It, it would require posting some signs ahead of time, letting people know that as of this date, the road will be closed. And so they would know to detour the other way and go down West River Road. And quite honestly, we're, we're not such. opposed to what you want to do. Right. I mean, it, you, you guys we know what the best yeah, thing yeah, we to do is. is. Yeah, you yeah. all those people. Yeah. So you, you go ahead and handle okay. it how you think best because if you've got to walk another 50 feet, well, you need to walk. <laughs> Everybody's if, we can angle it well. if we can't, we'll go back to the crosswalk. I, I think what's happened is over the years, the, the um, attendance at the Island Fest has gone up in numbers. And since that, we've got more people crossing the street there and, and not using that crosswalk. Right, so. right. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Am I up here? Chairperson, is that me? Review yes, of events. Okay, well, can we go through this real quick? Because I see we have Jazz of Blues bands on here, so I think we're... Yeah, let's look um, at it. Okay, so Friday night, June 3rd, we is have um, in our dining area, which is where we do pancake mm -hmm. breakfast and steak dinner, we're going to have music of solitaire, 4 to 7. The choir, where are they singing, Ten? ten oh, outside. Yeah. We're 6 o'clock, okay. 6 p.m. 7 to 10, we have the Revoked Band with Max Robinson and his well, cron cronies. If you don't mind my saying so. It's of course. <laughs> it's Tevye. <laughs> no. It's Brandon Reeves, Ryan Reeves, Max Robinson, Tommy Whitaker, and there's a good chance that Craig Carrico, a past graduate of Gross Hill High School, will be joining the band for this performance as well. Oh, okay. So uh, if you're a fan of Gross Hill uh, oh. talent, uh, come on down and listen to the revoked. Thank you, Madam yeah. Chair. Thank you. Okay, and then we break at 10 p.m. or 10, 10, 15 for the fireworks by um, Ace, Pyro. Ace Pyro, which is going to be a great show, I heard. Mm -hmm. um, and then around 10.30, we're going to have DJ Scotty. I don't know DJ Scotty. I'm sure he'll do a good job. Who knows DJ Scotty? DJ Scotty, Scotty um, cool. Oh. Jules knows him. Jules, and how long is he going to play till like midnight? Mm -hmm. That's loud with the police? Midnight? Yeah, midnight's good, right? Midnight's well, good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. I got a really quick question, Amy. Yes. It's about the fireworks thing. Uh, you see that total at the bottom of that page? Is that above and beyond the eight thousand? The amount that we Well, we'll go over that in a minute. Oh, okay. I all just right, want right. to go over the... Um, all this? No, I'm not, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go all through it. All right. Then on Saturday we have parade. We know at 10 a.m. on Macomb we have Jazzapalooza, noon to six here at the Big Tent. 
Um, got some stilt walkers going to be in the parade and around the Island Fest. Um, Eddie O at the dining area for steak dinner. DJ Scotty again outside before 50 Amp Fuse. I just want to run through our entertainment, make sure it's all copacetic. Um, spell that. Copacetic, I will not spell. Uh, Sunday, we have entertainment. We have Grozio Unplugged, which is Bill Bynum, Mike Foran, and Barry Van Engelen. Did I say that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I guess our splash would be entertainment inside the tent, inside the hangar from 12 to 4 with Donna Henson and her crew. And the color crew. Color crew. The color crew. No, I just wanted to make sure we're all set. Did did Brian contact 50 Amp? Is well, that all? Through all these affect every commissioner in some way or another, you know, so you might as well just go through it. Make sure okay, I'm going to go through that. Thing. I will. Should I will. But did Brian contact? Did that cool the, the sound? I'm going to assume everything's all set. Yeah, sound and everything's set. Um, he was going to try to see if he could work with 50 Amp to get a discount. He okay, I'm going to let you and him handle that, right? Oh, he is giving him the sound? Well, well, he's still. Give us a discount. He's got the sound there the whole weekend. They don't need to bring their equipment. Okay. And they ask that when they book a gig, they'll say, "Do you need the, us to bring our whole sound system?" Carnival will take place every day, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The times are four to eleven Friday, twelve to ten p.m. Saturday, twelve noon to only four on Sunday. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Stop busy, but four o'clock. Okay, daily passes are eighteen dollars. That's no no more than last year, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Airborne bouncers are going to be over here in the lawn area when you walk between here and the carnival. Huh? They're adding another thing called bazooka ball. I have no idea what that is, <laughs> but they have the rock wall, the bungee jumper, the spider. That's always a good thing. That's always fun, and fun. people do partake in that. And they will be here the same times and dates as the carnival. Um, Island Historical Tour. They are going to, okay, I always thought it was at the Pilot House, but it's here at the main entrance of Township Hall. The tours start here, correct? Yeah, Island Historical Saturday. Tour. Saturday only, 1 o'clock and 2.30. There's two times. The sponsor is Trinity Transportation. Yeah. Yeah. Restroom and everything. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow, that's that's an upgrade for sure. Trinity does a good job. Um, Derek Airport Activities. See, Trinity's a good neighbor. Good corporate neighbor. Okay, Derek, so we are going to have some aircraft on site outside. Oh, flying too? I guess I need you to talk. It'll be pretty much the, uh, the same type of airport activities we've had in the previous uh, couple of years. There was one thing that the Airport Advisory Committee was interested in possibly adding, and I wanted to uh, pull the commission to see if it might be something we might be interested in. I know Uta mentioned uh, possibly in previous years the, the uh, possibility of doing like a runway biking, walking, uh, running type thing, and uh, the Airport Advisory Committee would like to, if we can do that this year, um, maybe set some hours on Saturday, maybe one to four or something like that, leave that at the discretion of the commission, but uh, have the runway uh, open 1735 to uh, allow people to, to walk, bike, and, and run down the runway if, if they would like. Uh, it would be in conjunction with our FBO, Millennium Aviation. They would have an aircraft down at the end of the runway, a World War II type aircraft down at the end of the runway where the people could take a picture with the plane looking out over the bay. It might well, be a nice cool. photo op. That's cool. nice. That's yeah. cool. And for the kids, they'll have uh, uh, coloring books, aviation related awesome. coloring, coloring books and stuff like that. So if that's something that the commission we is approve. interested in, oh, we something we like Go ahead. for this. Yeah, year. we like it. And it'd be pretty, pretty minor. Because I was going to ask you, is there, everybody just going to be like running? Free, free for all, or there's a point where they have. The right. point of it is to go see that airport. Right, there'll be a point to go out to the bay. I mean, that'll be the ultimate location that you'd want to go to. There's going to be volunteers that'll assist with crowd control. Obviously, the rest of the airport is open, so we want to make sure, from a security standpoint, people don't wander off the runway. Um, but uh, you know, it's something that I think we can control and handle fairly easily. It'll be something I think the the residents would enjoy. Kind of leave it open ended. They don't have to be there at a certain time. Leave it, you know, from hours X to Y, and, and allow them to do that. It's not every day they get to go out on the runway. 
and ninety percent of the people have never been down those roads. Exactly. Down so we like that. That's great. Uh, a couple of years ago, I mentioned it, and I don't think it ever came to fruition. But the airport advisory committee would, uh, you know, is definitely kind of rehashing the idea and is interested in doing that along with our FBO. So okay. thank you for your advice. I mentioned it to him that you know it had been brought up a couple of years ago, but I think the logistics just didn't work out. But this year, I, I think it's something that be nice to do. So I wanted to bring it up to the commission to see if there were some sort of times that would work best do to we do need it. Vote on this. No. No, you're like, a, come on. Yeah. Just I mean, we just let's, let's kind of agree on it. What do you think? Vote. You think Saturday would be the best day, obviously. <laughs> I think that's so, too, from, uh, you know, a lot of After people. After the parade? Whatever you guys want. I mean, that's fine. Will there be a fee? or is No, it would be free. It'd what be about, absolutely free. you know, Ann just mentioned, too, maybe a little bit on Sunday, too? Or is that too much for you to handle? Uh, I'd like to try to keep it to, like, one day and, uh, you know, maybe three-hour time period. Well, because how about we not. do it on Sunday, which is a slow, which is a quiet day? And might draw people here. And you know you've got 60 teams. We just need to advertise ESA it tournament for Sunday. I'm, I'm open to whatever you guys want to do. And how about uh, Sunday from um, noon to four? Noon to four. Sunday Is noon that to enough? four. Sure. Tim, can we get some kind of blurb in the program about that? As we go through these events, I've got to probably send this to the ill camera to do the guide. So right. We saw some mistakes in the We need a catchy little name for it, you know. Like yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to bring it up now is to try to get it in the one way on the advertising for Highland Fest. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, this information creates that guide, then she calls different areas to get the features. So. I yeah. think Sunday, if you're cool with that. Sure. Noon to four on Sunday? Yeah. I, I mean, I guess we should, you know, uh, leave it kind of to their discretion to see when you get the most volunteers but i think sunday sounds good because there's not a whole lot of competition for for the for the people on sunday so even it, it might, you know, it might be, a, be a thing too where parents that are involved with this soccer tournament you know they let's say they've paid for the carnival pass on saturday but they're still here on sunday sure and they might not want to pay that amount again and they'll say well, let's go let's go check out the plane and let's go do the art yeah the art splash. Art you know splash. what I mean? There's a couple other things now for them to do that aren't a pricey amount for sure. them to pay times three kids or what have you. Sure. So that would work good. Most definitely. So noon to, noon to four on Sunday then. And Sounds good. That's okay. exciting, Derek. And so. Thanks for the nod, but I think it, it's a really good thing for your committee to... Um, you know, bring that up. So we'll be excited to you know see that it's going to happen. I think they were uh, um, pretty excited about the idea, so it should be uh, neat to see how it goes this year. Yeah. So okay. thanks, that's it. Thanks, Derek. Yep. Um, the VFW Food and Beverage Area, Bill. I know you guys have got that pretty much all covered, but I, you want me to go over? Or do you want to just go over it real quick? Mm, but you, you could go over it. I just have one thing to add when you're done. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Friday, June 3rd, we have bar service only outside in the tent, correct? Yes. 4 to 11.30, you need to buy a wristband for $1. Prove your 21, correct? Mm hmm We still need volunteers for that? Yes. So over the next, by next Friday, start recruiting. Give them to Julie and I, and I'll build the list for the weekend. Okay. By next Friday, you start recruiting. Dave Zula, I know you're volunteered already. Yes, he is. For Friday evening. Saturday, June 4th, we have bar service, hot dogs and sausage outside 12 to 11.30. And Sunday, the same thing, bar service, hot dogs and sausage 12 to 4. Uh, must be 21, and you have to purchase a wristband for a dollar. Every day, it's, you have to buy one for daily. You can't buy one for the weekend. Mm -hmm. um, okay, vendors, Maggie and I will go over later on tonight real quickly but basically the hours are Friday 4 to 11 well they can shut down earlier sometimes they shut down at 9 when the you know that area is open for a lot yeah. of the okay. 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 you know we don't the vendors might be closed. now Saturday Maggie 11 is that good for you mm -hmm. sometimes they open earlier you know yeah, yeah. I'm here at You're 8 here. okay yeah. 11 to 11 okay and sun 7 30 on Sunday well, well sometimes people the come in early for breakfast, breakfast. Because of the pancake breakfast, people come after okay. church, and they some people do um, open up early, and we're here. Okay, so we'll call it seven thirty to four on Sunday. I uh, tell people eleven if they want to open at eleven on Sunday, or they can oh, um, open up earlier if they want. Okay. Okay, inside the hangar, we have a lot of things going on. Um, art and craft mart. I'm not going to go into detail with that right <coughs> now. Um, 
Chad's group, the Grozy Alliance for the Arts, has the parts, I'm sorry, paint parts and pieces, um, which this year they're going to have the winners of the auction Friday evening on McComb. Am I correct? Yeah, but. Um Go ahead. I want to make a, a quick note that for people. We, you can drop off the art between noon and 8 on Thursday at the hangar. Here at the hangar. Correct. So that's the difference. You're going to have lot. You're not going to be transporting all that art this year. You're just going the to winners, right? Just the Correct. winners. So everything's coming to the hangar this year. So it's going to be full of art. On Thursday, it's coming. But we had said four to eight day. on the entries, okay. and we wanted. Uh, Tim said we can come in as early as noon. So you know, I'd like people to come down on Thursday. The, on Thursday, drop off your art on Thursday. The show's on Friday. And then it continues Saturday and Sunday at the uh, hangar. So basically, you're taking the winner, the winners back up to Macomb. You're doing a mm -hmm. kind of opposite. Yeah, here. right. Yeah, but only taking like eight or ten okay. pieces. Okay, all right. There, yeah. I get you then. Okay. Um, Tails is going to have a huge setup again inside. Um, fantastic prizes, raffle baskets, prizes. flat screen TV. Mm. For real? Ooh. For real. Sweet. You guys always have great prizes. We're going to have a lot of nonprofits in the hangar as well. Right now we have about 12 nonprofits. About 12 so far. Okay, that's good. But we'll get more. They're still coming in. Um, That'll be outside. Something different we have this year is Gyra is having a baseball hitting machine. I'm not sure exactly where we're putting that yet. And Gisa is having a dunk take, which is going to go outside right here on the lawn on your way to the fun jump bungee people like right between here as far as that, base, that baseball hitting machine we're gonna have to discuss that maybe I'm not sure where we should put that outside I think outside yeah. too no in here <laughs> um, the dining area again is set up with the nice yummy steaks and pancake breakfast other attractions whatever those are I'm not sure right now but there's always attractions wait till the no <laughs> You want me to go over the food vendors real quick? Jerry's is confirmed. Okay, we have Jerry's food booth this year, and not Hamburger House. No, Hunter House. Hunter House. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Olympic Kitchen here on Foods, which is Strudel, Mr. G's Concession, Vinny's Paninis. Oh, Mexican. Is that new? No. Nope. They've been here last week. Okay. Right. Hungry Howie's and Mike's Almonds. And of course, Carnival, you get all the elephant ears Chocolate. you absolutely could possibly eat. I just want to make sure nothing's like out of order here. Uh, Bill's doing Knights of Columbus. Pancake breakfast is Saturday and Sunday, 4 to 5, here at the airport food area, not four at McCall. Eight, you mean 8 to noon? 4th and 5th, 8 oh. to noon. That's what I said, Maggie. You said 4 and 5. Adult $6, child $3, 12 and under. Steak dinners, which are very good, are going to be Friday and Saturday night from 5 to 8. Do you have a child rate? I see a twelve fifty per person. Uh, $3 for the kids for the uh, pancake breakfast. What about the steak? Uh, the steak, uh, I think they're selling hot dogs, but we haven't decided what the okay. price will be. It'll be very nominal. But if anybody eats a steak, like my son eats a steak, he's got to pay twelve fifty. Yeah. yeah, so he better okay. eat the whole thing. He will. He will. Um, the one thing I'd like to add to the to, to note that you'll notice on the Knights Columbus there is no breakfast at the VFW Hall this year. Uh, unfortunately, it hasn't been very popular in the past, so we're going to eliminate that. And we will have posted on the marquee at the VFW that the breakfast here. will be at the airport only, uh, not at the VFW. Oh, that's good. That's so, good. yeah, because it just takes too much manpower and we didn't generate. There are two different places, yeah. There's, there's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, we didn't generate any interest anyway. Most people are interested in the parade and mm -hmm. not breakfast. So uh, that's the only difference. And, uh, and it's very food. good. I've eaten it. It's yummy. Yep. Yep, me too. A lot. It's a family mm -hmm. tradition for us. And as you know, the money goes to the charities. Yep. And to the festival. Uh, classic car show. Russ already kind of touched on that, so I'm not going to read that verbatim, if unless you want me to. Then we have a parade lineup. Ooh, we got lots of people. Remember, that's not a final, and that could be Jackie. That's 46 the already. Cool. What do we want? Oh, and it's the returning MCs for the parade are Molly Clayton and Chad Novak. Who's that? Chad who? Chad me. Chad. Who's that? Can you spell his last name? 
I uh, just want to mention that, uh, Tim, I'll do the, you want me to do East River again, right? Yes. To set it up? Yep. Okay, great. I'll, I'll take care of that. That's okay. And still, you can still get you around to the festival committee. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Um, Chad, this is a parts. I can't say it's a parts. Piece. Piece. This is a little, if you wanted to put some art in, this is an application. Which Do they have these at the rec department, I'm sure? Yeah, they're all yeah, over they're time. All over. Okay. Yeah. $150. Best of show, $300. Give them $300. Best of show, first place is $150. Second place is $100. Third place is $75. And this year we are giving all the artists 60% of the proceeds. And the Art Alliance keeps 40% for our future events, which are Concert on the Commons, Writers' Workshops, etc. So, yeah, you're getting the artists, you know, they get 60% of whatever the art sells for. Brian came late, which is fine. No, no big deal, but I just wanted to make sure. Oh, I got for Brian's. Um, with the Jazz of Palooza, did you see? Uh, I, I have not seen that, actually. Do you need one? Uh, yeah, because. <clears throat> Like I said, logistic-wise, with 50 amp coming in, there's uh, nine bands right now. That's okay. We just have to organize them on where they're going to play and end up. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, you, well, we don't want any more, do you? Between 12 and six, that's what I was worried about. Like between 12 and six is well, nine. Well, here, here, here's the deal: is is whatever stage 50 amp is going to end up playing on has to be clear two hours before they okay. play. Okay. Because it takes them two hours to set up and do their thing. So we have this from 12 to 6. How, how long do the bands usually play? Like how many sets, how many minutes? It's usually like... Uh, Half hour? No, no, it's not even. It's like 20 minutes. They play like three. It, it, it's not long. Um, Six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times 20. Help me do the math. It's 180. 180 minutes, that's two hours? No. Three. Three hours. Right. But... Well, there'll be time overlapping, I understand. Yeah, and so I, I think they actually do get a half hour, but... Okay. So as far as right now goes, nine is good, maybe one or two more at the max. Well, I think we also tried to uh, leave a few minutes in between bands so that people Set could up. at least go to the restroom and it gets a little hectic. Eat. <laughs> Eat, yes, I know. Uh, you, you yeah, said Nate said yeah, to yeah. wait for Southgate and Lincoln Park to confirm. Okay, yeah. That would be it. And that'll probably be it? Yes. Uh, okay, well, that I think that'll work. So, I, anyway, I did talk to 50 Amp. They're, they're okay. pretty complacent with their sound system, and actually they, they're going to bring some of their own lighting as well. Um, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. But anyway, you know, no, no harm, no foul. We found out logistically they need a couple hours. Um, we are still planning on moving the tent out about 10 feet. Is that correct? Okay, good. That way. I, I talked to the tent vendor, and uh, he's aware of that, so... Um, and who's going to be here to set that tent up? What day does that go up? Brian usually needs some. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, you want to move it out, move it out. Well, uh, we were going to do that for the extra food vendors right, in that hallway, right. so or that aisle way. Um, so here comes Derek. Oh, you're fine. Go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so we're going to do that, and and the tent guys are aware of that we put the tent and the staging in on Thursday. The tent goes in Thursday morning. The staging goes in Thursday afternoon, and then Friday the, the sound and lights go in, and then we play Friday, Saturday, and so on. So once we have a confirmation of how many jazz bands are playing, we will let you know. Yes. And you will. I, I'm Place gonna, them accordingly so that yeah. you know Lincoln Park Band or whoever ends here so right. that the other 50 amp can set up here. Right. That's right. up to you. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Just as an FYI, we've got to coordinate a little bit better this year for the power stuff. Okay. We don't have the fellow on staff any longer that did the hookups for you, right? Okay. okay. So um, Tim and I will be working with uh, the township's contract and electrician, Barry. Okay. And he'll be doing that uh, with us. But... He's mm -hmm. not as readily available as Rod was okay. um, being a full-time staff member. So, Do you want me to bring tails down and drop them off to you? Yeah, the sooner the better. That way okay. we can set up with his schedule how everything works it, out. It's not going to be till that week. Cause I that's fine. Yeah, we don't need them stolen or anything like booked. that. But yeah, or you need them for other things. That's yeah. fine. It's just so you know, know about I don't remember how, how long beforehand you drop them off. But I'll, it'll probably be uh, that Monday. Okay, that's, that should be fine. I think I'm okay. done with everything by then. Tim, uh, just uh, as an aside to this, uh, uh, Amy is uh, asking if we'd be able to have a couple of golf carts again. Oh, yeah, I've got three reserved. If they don't quit breaking down, I don't know why we get 
anyway, we yeah. got we got three here. Yeah. Yeah, for the police and the. Festival. Well, no, I meant for two for the parade. Uh, we're going to need. Oh, yeah, because uh, we're not going to have the sailboat this year for our. Okay. We like to have so Russ has offered me a fancy Oldsmobile convertible. Ooh. And and and, and I the, I volunteered a couple Water's Edge carts if they're available. Yep, we'll work on getting a final count on those. Okay. okay. And the other thing is, uh, uh, any of you, uh, we had discussed this earlier, but it never, I never got any feedback on the magicians, the table magicians. Is that something we want to do later next year? Or think about it, or yeah. you still? I know, I I know you and I exchanged a couple emails, and then I went away, you went away, because I've talked to them, and they're willing to do it. I just need to know. I want to. I don't want them to waste their time because it's a big thing to do. I think we spent the money on the stilt walkers. Huh? Yeah. We spent the, the money on the stilt walkers. Stilt well, there wasn't going to be any money. Oh. What do you mean? I thought they. I thought they had a fee. That's just my fee. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, I. I would just assume we can think about it for next year. I, I think let's keep it on the paper for next year maybe okay. especially around the dinner time hour would be kind of cool yeah because these guys these are inside and they're protected from the weather yeah and, 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 and then maybe day. what we could do next year if we're looking for it we could do uh, something on Sunday uh, on the stage yes because these these guys are good and they do have yeah, then maybe they could do a little kind of a little snippet you know Friday or Saturday at steak dinner and then the big show on Sunday or yeah, something like something that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, okay, we'll think about that next year. Make a note. and All right, good. That might actually be a, a neat thing to incorporate with the unplugged, you know, because yes. it's yeah. quieter and um, kind of a more low-key yeah. and family, especially then if, if it really goes, you know, becomes a tradition to have the runway walk, um, that would be kind of cool mm -hmm. to start building a, a quiet Sunday. Okay. I can tell you that they put a show on over at uh, uh, at uh, gosh, the one of the schools in uh, Allen Park, and it was a smash. It was just a real success. They did some stuff that you know, just hard, I just really can't imagine how they do it. But and that's the that's the beauty of it. <laughs> so we'll we'll think about it for next year. Okay, now Maggie, can you give us a little update on the vendors and the sponsors? How many we've got and. Uh, right now we have 44 craft and art vendor, vendors, and I have people call me every day. And we're ahead of last year. And last year we had about so 60. Do you think we need to have like the cutoff date like this Friday? When do we when do we want to cut these people off? Because we're going to run out of spots. Um, probably I'd say Monday. Monday. This Friday or Monday. So I'm going to tell you and Tim this is the day Monday. Okay. Which means no don't more call after. me after Monday. I don't want to, I don't want you calling me and say, well, this guy called me. No, you and I have to get together and place yeah, and that's it. Because I know we're going to run out of spots. Yeah, and Tim and I talked today about the electric, and we got that all under control because we have a lot of people that want electric. So but Monday is, so anybody out there who's watching and wants to have a booth for whatever, their wares, their crafts, what have you, Monday is May. And we have a lot of new, new vendors this year, too, which is nice. May 16, correct? Mm-hmm. That is the cutoff. You must have your money in and your application to the Grosio Rec Department Monday the 16th. Right. Okay. I just okay. had to say that out loud. And we have right now 10 nonprofit groups, but they all keep coming in. They um, have when should we keep those? They're, most of them are there already. Yeah, most I of them are Monday there. I think Monday we need Monday because that can be, that's the day. Monday's the day. And as of now, we have 15. Now, these are Island Fest sponsors, not fireworks sponsors. We have 15. Um, Island Fest sponsors so far. How many did we have last year? We didn't have that many last year. Mm, it's about the same. About the Is same. It? Yeah. Okay. Give or take. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. I'll meet with you. Yeah. Next week sometime. Maybe Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go back to one thing about the vendors. Uh, I need to make sure that we work with Maggie and her team That's me. to make sure that that parking lot, <laughs> that parking lot doesn't get... Oh, on Saturday, Saturday morning. On oh, yeah. Saturday. Saturday's a, that's yeah. the problem I had on Saturday because everyone's at the parade. Well, you're in a fight with at least a couple people that day. Now, wait a minute, though. I go and change well, shirts in the porta potty because they don't know who they Actually, I don't for. care if they come there and drop their stuff off and, and park or whatever. I just need to know if you could... 
if we could somehow have a number, so you know how many booths are going to be, if you could have a number that they must put on their dashboard, and we tried that last year, didn't we? No, we didn't. We talked about we it. Talked I think about we talked it. about it. If it's on their dash, then I can go to that booth and say, "Okay, you've had plenty of time to unload here's, your car, and you moved." Can, here's what I can do for you. Well, what are you going to do? There's <laughs> several vendors that come every year, every year, every year. We we I am going to try to get with Maggie next week and start placing these vendors. I guess all I need to do is have a, a flyer, a brightly colored flyer, number one, and they can when they when they come in on Friday morning, I'm going to say put this in your in your dash like this. Now, what if if I if so, there's always last minute changes? Oh, there's never yes. that just always happens. Um, I'm going to have some blank ones. I could say see Amy if you want, or I could say to be determined, TBD. But I, I'm only going to have. Uh, at least 80% of them placed, so when they arrive, I know where they're at. Would that help you? Well, that'd be that'd be very beneficial. But there are going to be some that aren't that don't. But you know what else? They aren't going to go into the airport unless you tell them where to go, right? They're supposed to be set up. The thing that we need, though, more than that, though, on Saturday morning, is that everybody is down at the parade except for me and you, and there's not a lot of help there. Police, not policing, but you know, directing. Yeah, people. but mostly Friday. I'm Friday. here Friday. But, well, no, this is. Um, we're talking about the. We do a great show for that, where the vendors go in and the entertainment. On Saturday. Yeah, early on. Oh, so Saturday's what we're talking about. We, we did do a lot of passes last year for staff commission, we could give that food vendors. We could give that I thought we did crafts too, but. I thought we could we give that too. job to Dave Zula. <laughs> Are you going to be in the parade, Dave? I usually watch the parade. I'm not in. Yeah, he's already assigned to his volunteer duty. <laughs> well, well, I know what you mean. You're talking about the. Well, by the time parade comes, he'll already be a member, so he'll be in the parade as a recreation. I'm not in the parade because I'm always not in the parade. parade. I'm always not. And he's going to have the Neither. big red I'm nose. I'm always with Bill. Brian's always note. here doing music. Bill and I are always down there by ourselves. Well, you know, we we guess my point here. is. We need some more people here. I guess my point is simple. I'll they aren't going to go into the airport hangar without knowing what their booth number is. Correct. Okay, so when you tell them what that number is, say this and you write it on the sheet. I don't care if it's a blank piece of paper. Okay. Just get a big marker and put on there number 37. It's not going to be, it's usually not going to be prior to them arriving. I'm going to tell you that much. It's, no, it's no, no, I don't care prior. Okay. I just want it in their car because okay, if they leave the car on the lot, then I can go over and say, their number 37, I can go back to 37 and say... So I'll write their number and I'll initial yeah. it. Definitely. Because then people just start writing numbers. So I'll write a number and I'll initial it. Well, then you know. Don't you remember the booths? When oh, you yeah. That's what, we, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. There's just, just, just a lot of changes that happen that day. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. run all the numbers and on your list, when you have a vendor, write the number you give them next right. to that vendor. And then, you know, you've already got the numbers run off. I'm and just going to hand it to them when they come in. Yeah, and then they put that in the I, I think it'll work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have it double. And we have the VIP parking for the commissioners and stuff, or, you know, for right in, in front here, or did we stop doing I've never seen any VIP. No, I, that's where I park. Oh, yeah, yeah I have yeah. VIPs coming through. Uh, we use that whole lot for handicapped VIP, VIP, elderly. Yeah. So, you know, um, and commissioners shouldn't be parking no, over there anyway. Uh, where the car show takes place. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, we'll work, we'll work as best okay, we can. We're going to try, we'll try it. Years ago, it was a disaster. Thank you. If we get them at least half the cars, it's better than last year. year. We'll work on that. Yeah. yeah. If they're in half the cars, it wasn't better. bad. The no. year before was it's really bad. Friday? Yeah. Anne's going to help Friday morning, too. Yeah. That is the best day. We have fun, don't we? Okay, any commissioner report? Oh, wait, township liaison report. No report. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any commissioner reports that I have not covered? Julie? Oh, the uh, volunteer, no. is your volunteer page working now? Your the, the, everything doing okay? You had sent an email out that... Tim yeah. really is administering the volunteer page. I'm just farming on Facebook and through emails and yeah, uh, contacts to send... We just need email. another... This is where that second surge comes in, and usually the commission goes out. And if I can say, I've got Even some commission, like sister Walton, teams and some unique things going on where um, people are making it a family fun event, 
you know, getting the, all three sisters together like the Brock yeah. Miller girls yep. are all joining them in and doing it for the first time ever. So they're looking forward to spending a whole day together, which they don't always get to do with their kids. And cool. that's not what your festival can do for you, but what you can do for your festival. I like that. Yep. That's hysterical. Feel free to use that. She should. <laughs> we haven't started hitting on the other commissions, like the rec commission. Walt and Debbie always do it, and so we'll get that second cert. The they get a free T-shirt and hot dog. Use of the volunteer area. Are we going to do that again? Or yes, we're going to move it, but it will be there. Well, it will be the volunteer area. That's, that's always a nice place for the volunteers to gather. Find so lovely with that black plastic hanging. Sure. It's just we're beautiful. Put it in the needle. <laughs> well, what are we going to do about that? Well, we're going to glitter it up. We're going to yeah. We're gonna put some paint on it. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I bet you Donna could really fancy up some of that plastic. Well, we're going to move it over there. that way. So we yeah, because she's got nothing yeah. going on that weekend. She's, yeah, I mean, she's, she's not around with some of her paint balls. No. Oh. Miss said something. About, I don't know if we want to use the pipe and drape, but we need that. I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. I'll pull out some of the old plastic. I got some of the plastic. Just some balloons. Yeah. I have some shiny <laughs> fabric. Do you have a report? <laughs> Pardon? Do you have a report? Me? Yes, you. Well, why would I have a report? Why? I don't know. Maggie? I'm glad no, you're No, I'm good. Have me and talk. I'm good. Bill? Ryan? Ryan? Okay. Do we want to, um, nobody's here for, except for Derek. Isn't he cute though? Derek, do you have anything else to add? No. Public safety, airport recreation. It's all covered, it's all good. Lieutenant Bow, anything? Oh, oh, oh Pop. Since you mentioned it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we did look at the parking last year, um, reserving the parking on the west side of the, the building for uh, commissioner parking and for handicap parking that seemed to work really well. We told the um, explorers and the reserves that that was specifically for handicap parking, and that's all they let in there was either either you had to have a permission slip from the township yeah. or you had to have a handicap placard to get in to park over there, and that worked really well last year. We had it kind of closed down, and some people tried to drive around the signs, and we chased them down, told them to get out. I did. Park um, I did witness personally a few that were not. I don't know where they got the signage from. Because I asked them where they got the signage. No way. They said, you gave it to us. And I go, no, I didn't. Did they get it from a car? I have no idea what happened, but several several cars. And, you know, it was fine. It wasn't overcrowded or anything. We're like, how did you get those? And they wouldn't give me a straight answer. And I'm not going to say it was or anything, but, you know. Inside job. What you have. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know, but it, it didn't seem like, there always seemed to be, because my mom has a handicap sticker, and then I always told her, meet me over there. It seemed like there was always spots open. Do you know how many spaces are available in the west lot here? How many spaces are over here to park? Up around here? Yep. Yeah, it, it didn't it, seem it to be a problem. problem no, it never has been it was controlled. I just said, you know, you're going to get me fired from parking so. in here, and yeah. then I walked away, so, yeah. Where they got the, the, the fake passes, I can't help you there. It's so desperate. Counterfeit. Really counterfeit, counterfeit parking pass. Counterfeit oh parking pass. There were some people that feet. were tailgating um, yes, yes. That, that area as well. Were those the I was tailgating with them at one point. Just a little pain. But then I said, how did you get this? Then I realized, how did you get this parking pass? So who does the parking passes? You? Yeah, we did them. Yep. Okay. Inside job. I sold them for five bucks a piece. <laughs> but I gave them money back. To no, we did them for food vendors, entertainment, as many right. as we get a hold of, and the, the VIP parking. Yep. As far as the parking for all the other uh, attendees of the event, it's going to be across the street still. Yeah. And then we're still doing snow fencing again in the same areas we've done in previous years. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. And okay. I think past couple of years, I don't know if the gyro that assisted with, we, we laid the fencing out. Yes, they're, they're back there. again. I think baseball will be too. Okay, so we'll run the posts. So one of the, there's two groups that are going to help us. So we'll run the posts, we'll uh, put the fencing out, and then we'll just strap it. Okay, all right, sounds good. Um, well, the only other thing I need to, any new business, old business? Next meeting? Well, are we good? Is there anything? No, let me just say one thing. I, think I, want, to, I want you to say something about this. Who, me? Yeah. What, oh. you, what you gave me those numbers the other day. Oh, that's right here. Please. Tim just gave it to me. And that, that goes back to um, Island Fest, some of that, right? Yes. Um, yeah. So the Island Fest Fireworks um, Budget. Sponsors, sponsors has raised to the state 
There's 31 participants, $13,775. Wow. That goes towards the meals, 4000 for fireworks, and, you know, the, the uh -huh. beer wine for the VIP. So the, the overhead, yeah. Yeah, so the... Or whatever's over and above that. What will, yeah. do, you, do you already have an idea of what will be left over? I would say probably, just off the top of my head, just guess me, five, 6000 To come to the island. Island Fest Commission. Yeah, Island for, Fest budget. The fireworks show will be twelve thousand eight from our original bid, and then the four to increase it to a twelve thousand dollars show. So that knocks it down to nine, and then you take all your expenses out there. I'm going to say probably four or five thousand. No, wait a minute. The, wait, you did the, the bid was eight thousand yeah. plus the four thousand to make it a twelve thousand dollars. Is a twelve thousand dollars. So far, we've raised thirteen thousand. Mm -hmm. So that only leaves a thousand left. For the party and food, no, and that, we'll come back to Island Fest. That eight thousand is not included in that thirteen seven. Right, that's already paid. That's for. already paid. Sorry, for. Paid for. I, I'm sorry, you're right. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a step right. But there are expenses that will come out of that thirteen. Uh -huh. But I still think when we have talked talked around about that, there was like we always had that three or four thousand dollar gap. That's what he was trying to shoot for, and I think we're right either there or we'll, we'll have to see how things fall. But it, it's pretty amazing it is pretty amount amazing. of money. Do we okay. have a Do we have a, a sponsor for the fireworks? Because we usually look for a sponsor to pay for that fireworks show. There's four. 34 total sponsors, and if you subtract the traditional sponsors, there's 31. There's probably 31 coming in from the fireworks. So then there's sure VIP there. tickets that go towards that too, and a portion of that comes back to the festival to cover expenses and proceeds. So uh, are these, but are some of these donations, donations that would traditionally go to just straight to the Island Fest. No, I don't know. Well, I'm no. talking, there's a lot of new sponsorships. Lot of new sponsors. That's, that's good. But yeah. to have 44 overall sponsorships for Island Fest in this climate is pretty incredible. It is. You know, I call them all Island Fest sponsors because well, they are giving money back. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you can group them. One in. thing that yeah. they wanted to make sure of too, we have our with his um, promotion of it. If you had five hundred dollars sponsorship or a thousand dollar, any of our previous sponsors will get the VIP tickets or included in the fireworks. Oh, uh, they're going to be included. They're yeah, get like the a C range, or well. they can choose to use them. Or well, that was nice of him. Right, uh, Compo Brothers, those type of businesses. So they're going to get the VIP tickets to the special. Whatever that sponsorship there. was that went out to the fireworks sponsors, he said gotcha. to make sure your traditional sponsors get that same treatment for five hundred or a thousand, well, which great. I thought was that's very nice. generous. Yeah. Yes. But let me ask you a question because you use the term VIP and we use the term VIP parking. Are the people who are buying the tickets expecting to be part of that VIP parking? That's a new thing we have to think of. I was looking over there wondering about that. That, that, that won't leave enough space. That's 150 people, so that's going to be a little tricky. Where do you see VIP parking? It's not on the promotion of the event, but we do call that VIP. P um, fireworks area to raise those funds, but then we should call this parking area handicap parking and not call it VIP. If we happen to have some commissioners who get the the VIP pass, that's, yeah. that's for them to know. But we should just call this handicap, handicap parking. Lot. Okay. Okay. Handicap lot. That's a good. Point. Can I ask about parking? Uh, Otherwise, it'll, it'll be a, it'll be a real cluster with people thinking they mm -hmm. they should be in. in right. You're right. So there's, and that, I've always referred to that as handicap parking. Mm -hmm. A real cluster. Okay, so the, that, so Tim, just so I'm clear, this special firework party that's going on, right now there's no specific parking for mm -hmm. those people. They can park where they can mm -hmm. park. That was not in the package. That's not in, okay, because right. it's just, we won't be able to accommodate right. that. No, they can okay. just park with friggin'. And then so I can give them a little spiel, is that a word? Um, again, they are selling those tickets. I want to, you know, they are bringing in a nice show and doing this extra with these sponsorships. The VIP tickets are, the show is Friday, June 3rd. We all know that for fireworks. The VIP tickets are still available up to May 27th. Special seating, buffet dinner by TV Diner, uh, drinks at $50 you each. Mean that? Um, this page here. On the sponsor page, the page and I want to. Show the permission of what, what went out with that package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where, mm -hmm. where are the tickets available? Yeah, where are the tickets available? They're through uh, Dr. Morris. Morris. Through Dr. Yeah, Morris. Morris. He's got volunteers. Oh, that one. Oh, so if somebody be. listening right now wants to buy one of these tickets, they would call Dr. Morris or call Down the rec department? And we refer them yeah, 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 you can okay. call the uh, rec department. Call the rec department and we can refer them. Um, 
fifty dollars for adults children under twelve will be twenty dollars um, again it's a special five and under free five and under free it's a special seating right out here this gate 5a I believe Derek did you know about that mm -hmm. that's where they're going to enter and it's going to be what do you use the orange yeah, fencing so that's going to be a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And they're also trying to work with um, Vic's work, trying to work with um, uh, VFW to handle the beer and wine. Oh, they'll just great. have to develop a system. I don't know tickets or check marks on reimbursement to the VFW. But okay. I had uh, VFW that handles the licensing for them. Jazuski, uh call Vic, and they're going to try to work that in where the VFW gets some proceeds from that that dinner. So I thought that was like a nice of Vic to call and offer that. Okay. Is there anything else? I think I'm... Just one thing. Uh, what, what did you decide? To, what did we collectively or anybody decide to do about shirts? And oh, yeah. What are we doing with shirts? What shirts? Why are you I already They're ordered. Maybe, okay. yeah. What color are we getting? Okay. The volunteer shirts are lime and the commissioner shirts are hibiscus. <gasps> Oh. Is that yellow or orange? What the heck is hibiscus? Orange is pink. Orange is pink. Orange is pink. Orange is pink. It's a hibiscus. Oh. Bill, you'll look hot in it. Pink. Bill, you'll look good in it. Oh, yeah. Like well, I have to wear lipstick to the tip of your knee or something. No, it'll look good with your hat. It, it, don't you look at the Ralph Lauren collection? Real man wears. So I have to say that... Um, it takes a strong man. Maggie and I and Ann will be doing most of the vendors on Friday. If I become crabby, I apologize. And Thursday evening, they're coming in. The way it is. Aim, they're coming in Thursday evening between well, five I and eight to work too. Till five. So well, Anne will be there with me. I might we'll be you, there. We'll buy you an early wristband. Okay. Oh, have, there you go. <laughs> so next meeting May twenty fifth, correct? Are we having another meeting? No. Do you think, no. I think we need no. a meeting, everybody? I think, I think call it if you think you need it. I don't. Huh? We could call a special one if we need it based on public safety or things what that do you may think? come up. I think we're good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Yep. Yep, we're good. good to go. We have a heck of a party. Everyone come to Island Fest. Island Fest. Third, Ooh. fourth, and fifth. What were those dates? Third, fourth, and fifth. <laughs> yeah. Third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah. Third, fourth, and fifth. 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 Third, fourth, and fifth